so now in this topic we will be having a discussion on diffraction and the single slit experiment so what exactly is diffraction now if you want to define diffraction you can say that diffraction is the slight bending of light is the slight bending of light bending of light as it passes around the edge of an object bending of light as it passes around the edge of an object around the edge of an object so this is what you know as diffraction and if you look at the amount of bending now this depends on the relative size of the wavelength of light to the size of the opening so the amount of bending amount of bending now this will depend upon the relative wavelength to the length of the opening so now see suppose if the opening is much larger than the light's wavelength then the bending will be almost unnoticeable so for small opening and for comparable wavelength we will see this diffraction so this is what we know of diffraction now let's talk about how the single slit experiment has shown us about diffraction so when we talk about the single slit what we observe is from a source this source is emitting light so we take a screen and we just keep one source so if the light was not a wave we should have been achieving a single point source of light but instead in a dark room what we see is a combination of dark and bright fringes so there will be a cent central central bright fringes central bright fringes and accompanying them there will be consecutive dark fringes dark and bright fringes will be there so this proves that even from a point source the light waves spreads out it spreads out therefore it is a wave we can conclude that it is a wave now what are the mathematical derivations that a single slit had was as follows say suppose you take a single slit this is a single slit and from each point of the slit there is a source say this is m n now from this point let this be the center if a light is going over here that is this angle making theta similarly with this point if i take another source which is going over here this is also theta and this is also theta now because of this two there will be interference this is going this is going and this is going it will start interfering at the point say 2p at the point p now this acts as a secondary source of light and by using huygens principle we can understand that a secondary wavelet has been generated similarly this also generates a secondary wavelet now this two undergoes interference this two undergoes interference so now what we can say is that if you look at the path difference at the center at the center this is the point of central bright fringe where theta is equal to 0 now beyond this point now beyond this point where theta equals 0 in the upper part and the lower part what we have is theta is approximately equal to lambda upon a now from where did we get this derivation and this derivation was achieved from the path difference say suppose this is m and this is m so if np the path difference between np 
minus path difference between MP or say suppose this is given by NQ this is given by NQ over here let's take this to be a point L so instead of M we can take the point L so this is LP which is nothing but your NQ which is equal to A sine of theta now we know that this is for a very small angle therefore for a very small angle sine theta is equal to nothing but your A theta and for the first bright fringe you know path difference is n lambda path difference is n lambda therefore theta is equal to where n equals to 1 theta equals to lambda upon n this is the derivation that we have this derivation that we have because of this so in this way we can prove that light from the single slit experiment is also a wave 